Let's see how that came together. Y'all was scared. Y'all was scared. The price I want for show you gonna need three promoters. I got the body from Jamelis, but I had switched the motor. I got these badass bitches running around this bitch, and they all the coders. I just told to make a stone now. Yeah. I just bought all the trojans. Yeah. Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. My name is Tayaria Holiday. if you guys did not know. And today we're gonna to be doing this everyday quick and easy. It's a little chaotic of a routine, okay? But it's quick, easy, it's gonna get you in and out the door. I could do this routine in the car. I could do this, baby, I got this down, okay? So yeah, I took it a little bit slower for y'all today, but usually I could, it's just like I'm just throwing products on my face and it turns into this, so. If you want to know how to just be rushing into a process face, but it looks like this, I got you, girl. I got you today. I thought like this is a 20 minute max routine if you really know what you're doing. 20 minute quick beat down, okay? Okay, y'all, so we're back to start. Um, and when I said this was quick and easy, I really did mean quick and easy, okay? Because, baby, this is what I do before work, any of that type of little stuff where. I'm just trying to be out and a go. I don't use any foundation. I probably already told y'all that or you read that in the title. So yeah, I don't use any foundation or anything for this look. Um, I do have definitely have a lot of different beats that I do on myself, but this is the one like, oh yeah, you want to look like you did something, but you really ain't do much. You know what I mean? So that's what I'm going to put y'all on to. So stay tuned if you want to know the tea. First, I'm going in on my eyeshadow palette, baby, because we're using as many, as little amount of products that we have to. We don't even want to keep switching products today. I'm actually going to fill in my brows off camera real quick because that's one thing I can't do on camera yet, y'all. I'm uh, I'm trying to work with y'all, but I don't think I can fill in my brows yet. So, I'll be right back after they're just filled in. Okay, so the brows are filled in now. They are not concealed yet. I'm going to go ahead drop this okay i'm gonna go ahead and mix these two concealers um one is the 16 camo concealer matte finish from elf and one is the hydrating camo concealer with a satin finish okay so this one is in the shade deep olive the 16 hour camo concealer and this one don't mind my nails i'm getting done i'm so sorry it's ghetto um <laughs> and this is the hydrating camo concealer in the color deep cinnamon so I'm going to be using these two and mix them together for my concealer color today. So I just go ahead and put it on the back of my hand. That might be ghetto too, y'all. It's a ghetto routine, okay? Yeah, so let me see if I could. And I'm breaking out. <laughs> it's not like I'm just, I got a lot going on right now, don't it? So I'm just going in concealing that brown. I really would have did this off camera too, but I'm like, I don't want to OD on y'all. Like, okay, girl, you could at least show this concealing your brow, baby. I don't need them to be all up in the mirror, but I'm trying to stay behind for you guys a little bit. I've been eating a lot of sugar, so my skin breaks out when I eat a lot of sugar, so. I'm currently going through that right now, so do not judge me. Thanks, boo. Okay. So that's for under the eye. Now, I'm going to do it a little thinner on the top. Just so we don't even have to do too much blending. And no, I am not really one of the natural eyebrow girlies. Yeah, I need my brow. Okay. Snatch it. I wanted to cut you still. So, if y'all wonder what I'm looking at, my mirror is behind y'all. So, so these are the brows. So I'm going to go ahead and blend that out. I mean, we can put a little bit, yeah, because I done already made it look like I was gonna put it all on there. So <laughs> we could put um the rest of this remaining concealer just on the top. I'm gonna apply some of this Power Grip um, Elf Primer. 
and this primer is the gold y'all and i'm only going to really put it in my t-zone area because it's the only place i'm really going to be applying makeup yeah so i'm gonna be putting some concealer down here too so i just go ahead and get all the areas that i know i'm gonna be applying some makeup too i'm going to be taking this real technique 402 brush yeah but um and a little bit of this let me take the doodle no i'm gonna take the stay all night micro fine mist and just go ahead and um put that in I love this concealer. Honestly, Elf did they thing with that. I don't really want to become a Tarte girly because y'all be gassing Tarte up like they um their concealer is really nice and it does look really nice. It looks like it's just an upgraded version of the Elf one though. Um, but I do want to go ahead and try it out. Okay, so now the brows are fully their own part of my face right now. So. <laughs> take my morphe bronzer y'all you can't even see like this had a whole design on the front i'm pretty sure it's gone baby we hitting the pan on this one okay um morphe bronzer glamour bronze in the color trailblazer love 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 it is um a very versatile bronzer i i'm just going to be applying this all over my lid but um it's a very versatile bronzer. I feel like it works for a lot of different shades. I use this on some dark skin girls to some light skin girls, you know? So, um, I really do love this bronzer color. I don't use contour. I use only bronzer, so. Um, I love that about it. I should have set my eyes, y'all, but baby, Quick and easy, okay? <laughs> Comment down below if y'all want like a real, um, cause I was like, I just want to get it girls, you know, like if they running low on time, want to be cute, don't really know too much. So you kind of want to keep it simple anyways, cause you don't really do your makeup like that. This is what that this tutorial is supposed to be for, okay? Like people that's just like, hey, I just need a quick little boom, boom and go about my day. This ain't no full beat. This ain't none of that. So. If y'all want me to show y'all full soft glam beat to the T of how I would do it in out for a, you know, like if say you were going to a big event or something like that, comment down below and I definitely will drop one of those. So we're going to go ahead and take that same concealer. I have some left, but I'll probably still make some more on my, um, on my hand. And I think I do actually like the different finishes. Like it probably does balance out. I don't know. But the satin finish and the matte finish, how they have the difference in that, I do like that. And I do go on the nose a little bit. I don't try to apply it directly on my nose ring, even though I know I'm gonna have to clean it regardless. I don't know, something in my head just tells me still avoid it. I don't know. As well as just, I go down one time like this, right down the middle of my nose. And I go ahead and apply right there in the middle of my forehead and a little on my chin. And we might as well just go ahead and just bring this all around here. All right, so I'm gonna go in with some more of that um, Stay All Night Micro Fine Mist by e.l.f. And go ahead and take this. I don't know what this brush is, y'all. So, so if y'all was wondering what this concealer brush is, I'm sorry, I don't know. Um, But this is the matte powder um this is a real technique 233 i don't know what for my and that 234 is on the other side so yeah i'm just going ahead and blending out my chin first i always blend out my chin first just because i feel like my chin um basically the longer the concealer stays on i feel like the harder it's like not harder it sticks but more you get out of your cupboard so i do my under eye laugh and do the areas i'm not really worried about first so that would be my chin and my upper lip so 
go ahead and blend it out fully then we're going to do one more spray um, I'm gonna go ahead and start with the forehead and that's what gets rid of that hollow brow because it's the same color so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and blend my forehead out and y'all I know <laughs> I look very bright right now, but please let me cook, okay? Because when you're not doing a foundation, you're doing this concealer type of makeup look, y'all, you gonna be ashy for a little second, okay? Just a little one. But wait till that bronzer bring me to life. Y'all gonna be like, whoa, what the fuck just happened? It looks like I got a little, I'm gonna end a little bit of my shadow, so I'm gonna have to go back in with that bronzer. And just correct that. So, I'll go ahead. And this brush, I don't know if I told you guys this one. I'm sorry. This is the Deluxe Crease Brush in the number 300 from Real Technique. So, I should have called this maybe my chaotic routine, but I don't want to run it all the way. <laughs> so, I'm not going to do that. This is the Maybelline Fit Me um, powder. Um, I started using this powder. I took a makeup class like years ago, and this is the one they recommended for you know starting out your makeup kit. And I love this powder, so I kept using it. Okay. In the color, what did I tell y'all already? If not, it's medium. Um, in the color twenty, in the number twenty-five. Um, when I'm trying to go for a brighter under eye, I use this. Um. When I'm going for like one that matches my skin, I use colors of 30 medium deep. Yeah. Yeah, I probably like dang. Girl, get ghostier. It do. And do. And who gonna check me? <laughs> we're going in with that pattern and that brush that I was saying that we were about to use. Um and we just go ahead and bring that color back to my face. So I take it like in the middle of my cheekbone and I bring it on around to the top of my forehead. And I'm gonna go ahead and like put it all here over my um, top of my lip. I'm gonna put it down to chisel in my chin, corners of my mind. What kind of just bring the color back? Okay, like I just go ahead and place it. Like I put it like around my chin area, but I still try to keep a little bit of a highlight, but not too much. I don't really like the real highlighted chin, like extra highlighted. So I just wanted a little brighter, but not like I don't like all that. So. Then that forehead, the forehead blend goes crazy, okay? It always goes crazy, like you'd be like, whoa. But, yeah, my forehead, I'm just taking that powder. Well, this bronzer, the bronzer carries for this look, babe. For this quick and easy look, the bronzer carries, okay? So, yeah, you can just see the color coming back in my face as we do this, so. I'm just taking my bronzer beating and beating and beating and beating let me see i'm like probably annoyed okay and i'm kind of bringing that closer to my brow on this side i like to keep a little bit more highlighted in the front of my brow but I'm taking the end of this and just put it here so i can have more precise where it's going but yeah just take away a little bit of highlighting at the back Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Right. Now we're gonna go ahead and take that same brush I used for my lids and put that in this bronzer. And we're gonna take that down the side of our noses. Yeah. yeah. You know, this is the same one we use on the lid, so. Same color, so. I just kinda work that all the way into the lid let it flow into each other. Okay. 
and I kind of like to put that thing on my nose and really kind of work that in. And I put it over the bridge of my nose, kind of get that button effect. So, I apply some blush, blush, blush. All right, and this blush is Too Faced, Cloud Crush, and Watermelon Rain. So, this is what it looks like. And I'm going to take this brush from, it came in some Morphe Giant Char. Well, I don't know, child. It came in some set of a lot of brushes. I don't really like these brushes like that, but for little stuff like blush, I just use it. But yeah, so I love, love, love blush. Oh my gosh, I love pink, rosy cheeks. Like, oh my God. And I have chubby cheeks, so. And I put a little bit on my nose just to rose me on up okay i love being rosy it's like ultimate blending brush no this is the ultimate blending brush yeah ultimate blending brush from elf and just kind of blend it in all seamlessly from like a silver silver blush bronzer like a little combo on the side just to kind of mix that all in and make it melt together so yeah just like that boo <laughs> to take this NYX Professional Make what NYX Epic Ink Liner in Black E I L Zero One. Um, I never was like read the numbers on here, so I hope that's like what it would be. But I'm just gonna head in. Ooh, child, see this is what I get for trying to record while I do this. It could be a thick line. Now, I kind of like my line thick anyway. Uh, I guess we're going to kind of. Mm hmm. We're going to put the lashes on, y'all. But yeah, so I'm lining under my eye. Okay, so I lined under both my eyes, and now I'm gonna just go ahead and pop some lashes on. Okay, y'all, so I went ahead and popped some lashes on off the camera, and I put some um, mascara on my bottom lashes and to blend the lashes in with my real lashes. So, yeah, I'm gonna take some baby wipes and just wipe my lips off real quick. So I can do my lip combo. Alright. So y'all see how that came together. Y'all was scared. Y'all was scared. I'm gonna take this liner I got from the beauty spots though. Hopefully it worked good. Uh-huh. And this is from Kiss, okay? It's from Kiss in the color coffee. Okay, so that's my liner. And I'm going to go in with this Maybelline Lifter Gloss. I love these. Have y'all been seeing these? I love them, okay? But um, Maybelline's um, Lifter Gloss, it has hyaluronic acid in it. But this is the color Peach Ring in 022, so. Yep, I like this color, it's very, is flirty and cute. I might um, go on with this nude gloss too because I kind of did one more of a nude lip, but I like how the pieces make it a little, little juicy like. I might actually go over with this high gloss from Ruby Kisses. This is the crystal gloss in that little pink packaging. And, the, and it is so glossy, so it just adds that gloss factor that you need. All right, and now we're gonna go ahead and spray down. Oh, 
Again, this is that Stay All Night Microfine Mist from e.l.f. And I'm taking my palette and just getting it dry, dry, dry. And now I'm going to, I look so pretty. <laughs> like a little bit of highlight. Um, I don't really highlight for real. Uh, like, I mean, hmm, if I feel like it, when I feel like it, I do. And when I don't feel like it, I don't. Usually, because I really do not highlight for us, I don't have like a, at least for my personal brushes, I don't have a, um, a highlight brush. So I'm going to take the other side of this brush I use for my um, blush and just slightly add a little highlight right above my blush. Yeah, this is the final look. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure to comment, like, and subscribe if you liked it. And if you want to see that full glam routine, then comment down below. And I definitely will start cooking that up for y'all guys. For you guys. I say y'all guys. That is not proper English. Okay. I will see you guys next time. Thank you so, so much for tuning in. And all right. Bye, guys.